Yo, Greg Moore here, AZ Central Sports, along with Catherine Fitzgerald, Cardinals Insider. We're at the team's uh, Tempe practice facility. And we got some news out of the Steve Wilkes news conference that comes a day after the Cardinals beat the Green Bay Packers up at Lambeau Field. Uh, so tell us what Coach said. Yeah, so Cardinals get their third win of the season, but some bad news to go with that. Rookie wide receiver Christian Kirk is on the IR, as is Mikey Potty from the offensive line. That's They've got a number of linemen on the IR now. Um, Kirk's also a huge loss. You know, he was putting up some pretty good numbers, and he was one of Rosen's favorite targets. Um, and just seeing that passion from a rookie, I think, said a lot on a team that hasn't been doing quite so well. Uh, but he had close to 600 yards, three touchdowns um, through the season. He was doing returns, too. So that's really that's a big loss moving forward. Uh, Steve Wilkes did say, it's a foot injury, he'll be fine for next season, but to lose him at this point after a win, that's gotta hurt. No, that's gotta sting. Listen, every time you talk to somebody about Kirk, they talk to you about his energy, his mm -hmm. effort, his explosiveness. These are sorts of intangibles that can be hard to measure, but when you just watch the game, the eyeball test, he gets in there, he gets out of his breaks really fast, and he, you, you get a sense that he's got the ability to pop one. That's something that the offense is going to need to replace. Chad Williams should be coming back. Chad Williams should be back. We also heard that ahead of last week. So hopefully that was just the last minute making sure he was OK. But they've still got a lot to figure out at wide receiver. Um, you know, Larry Fitzgerald continues to make incredible catches. But outside of that, you know, there's not a lot to work with, and they still have some really tough games ahead. Yeah, so Coach Wilkes said that Chad Williams could be back. He believed he could have been back last week before Green Bay, but he just wanted him to have that extra time. Listen, real quick, can we talk about Chase Edmonds a little bit? Yes. He had himself a nice game. What did you hear from him when he spoke today? Yeah, so we just heard from Chase also. Um, he had two touchdowns yesterday, 53 yards on five carries, and what stood out to me the most was him talking about he knows that when he has the ball. People are still going to be clamoring for why doesn't David Johnson have it? He You're stealing my fantasy points. <laughs> um, he knows that that's what people are initially going to see when he has the ball. But I mean, he had those two touchdowns yesterday. If fans want David Johnson down the ball, I mean, you don't want to lose out on those. So Johnson himself had 69 yards on 20 carries um, as opposed to 53 on five. So Chase had himself a game. He's also a Fordham guy. Lombardi is a Fordham guy, and so for him to play well up at Lambeau, that had to feel, feel extra special for him. What did he say to that? Yeah, he said it felt full circle. Um, those were, he had two touchdowns his first of the season, so to get that at Green Bay in a big road win, I think he said it was a confidence booster all in all, and that's going to be so important moving forward. Steve Wilkes reiterated they want to have that one-two punch at running back, um, and I think Chase's game boded well for moving forward. All right, so we'll see what happens in the future. Again, Catherine Fitzgerald, Cardinals insider, Greg Moore. We're in Tempe with the Arizona Cardinals. Follow our coverage for the rest of the week ahead of the next game, home against Detroit.